So Vixios is a liposomal formulation containing dornarubicin and cytarabin, so two standard drugs used for AML. Um, and it was compared in a, in a trial called the 301 trial with conventional DA chemotherapy and shown to have better outcomes in terms of overall survival uh, in a patient group, patients who are aged over 60 in this group, um, with a comparable toxicity profile to conventional chemotherapy. So the dosing in terms of administering the treatment to a patient is, is a bit simpler than the standard chemotherapy. So for the first cycle of treatment, it's three doses given on days one, three and five. And that compares to a 10-day chemotherapy regimen standardly involving 23 separate doses. So it's slightly more convenient in terms of nursing time and patient time and perhaps pharmacy sterile production unit time. Although the individual doses take longer to make than perhaps the standard uh, chemotherapy doses do. Um, one thing about the product that might cause difficulty for uh, sterile production pharmacies is the short expiry. So it has to be used, the infusion, within four hours of being prepared, which means if you have a patient uh, who needs treatment at a weekend or out of hours, then that's problematic if you don't have a production unit open at that time. The trial that led to registration compared it with standard uh, non-liposomal encapsulated dornarubicin and cytarabine and it showed superior efficacy in terms of overall survival for the patients who received Vixios and a comparable in general toxicity profile. I guess the one difference was a more prolonged time to count recovery in the patients that received Vixios and that might impact on the length of prophylaxis that you give those patients or the time of their next treatment or the time of their allogeneic stem cell transplant. But I think in general it's been seen as, as an advance in those patients with therapy related AML or AML with uh, myelodysplasia related changes. Vixios has been recently granted a, a marketing authorization in Europe. Um, we can't use it yet in the NHS. We are waiting for uh, NICE to give us their opinion on it and we expect that within the next two to three months.